A human rights group, Lawyers Network, has asked the media to scrutinize all presidential and governorship candidates' manifestos through publicity for Nigerians to hold them accountable after they are elected. At the media conference in Abuja, the group said only four presidential candidates out of 17 have had their manifestos compiled and documented. We shall continue to engage the electorates for proper guidance on their choice of candidates. The excitement of the masses about the forthcoming election is such that it breathes hope and anticipation that we can survive our basic challenges as a country. We are confident that it is only Bola, Ahmed Zinubu, and Shetima, amongst other major contenders, that have had direct engagement with all the sections that are crucial to our society. And these include the private sector and businessmen across the country, the various professional groups, farmers, all religious groups, women, youth, and students, amongst several others. More interestingly, it is only the candidacy of Tinubu Shetima that have provided the electorates with a clear manifesto and action plans on how to take up governance upon their emergence at the poll. We have a new electoral law now, act that is in place, that has gone away with all sort of, you know, what I would call a hiccup to a peaceful election. All we need to do now is to take advantage of the doers. I mean, everything is going to be done right from the unit level to the world level to the local government and up to the uh, national level. We must make decisions as governors in this country. So, uh, one of the issues we are coming up in this manner, I realize as a, we realize as a group that we will be coming up with a trend and uh, we are easily getting deviated. Like we mentioned, I don't know maybe you are aware, as we speak, manifestos are not seen to be going around. The media should be busy trying to like analyze paragraph to paragraph the actual plan of persons who are coming into government to come at the affairs of a very challenged nation, uh, nation like ours. So what we are saying is this, we are being deviated from the issues and it's becoming a trend. It's becoming a trend. Like we mentioned, this happened in the last election. We are not saying because a particular party did it. That doesn't make it right. I will never continue that line. When we should be debating about policies as it affects you and I, as it affects the generation of the bomb. So that is on the sides of this issue of digging into the past and all of that. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.